Hi guys, uh, my name's Jim. Um, for those of you that are new to the channel, I am a full-time eBay reseller. I buy stuff um, at various places, car boots, charity shops, etc. to sell it uh, on eBay for a profit. Um, I Obviously, at this time of year, car boots are coming to an end. Charity shops can be very hit and miss, so we're all trying to find different ways of getting stock in to uh, keep making money. Um, and I've bought a few um, bundles of vintage clothing. I've done a couple of videos from that recently that you've seen. But another one's arrived today from a different company. Um, so we're going to open it up and we're going to see how we get on. Um, so yeah, this one is big. It is, bear with me. Ugh. 30 kilos of branded denim jackets. And it's blooming heavy. Now this one is from Bulk Vintage Wholesale. I have used them in the past. Excuse me while I get into the, get into the sack. Yeah, I have used them in the past. Um, and mixed results to be fair. Uh, but they had some special offers on, on their website. So I bought two bundles. I bought a 45 kilogram bundle of hunting and military wear, which I've got and I've started to go through and I, I will do a video on that shortly. And then 45 kilos of trucker jackets. So Sherpa jackets and things like that, American ones. Now, that was three weeks ago I placed that order. Um, I had a dispatch notification um, about a week ago for the military stuff, which has come. And then I had an email saying, actually, we haven't got the 45 kilos of um, trucker jackets. Is there anything else that we can do for you um, to, to apologise? So I looked on the website, saw their 45 kilo bundles of Levi's and branded jackets. I said, I'll have this, please. And they came back to me. Well, because of our sale, there was a big price difference. So we can't send you 45 kilos of that. We'll send you 30. I'm like, well, not getting off on the right foot here, guys. So I've ended up with 30 kilos of this branded denim. They sent it to the wrong address. They sent it to, one, to, to, to a number that's over the road. But fortunately, the guy um, who delivered it remembered delivering the other one last week so came to me first and said I think this is for you but it's got the wrong number on so we're not getting off very greatly there are we but anyway hopefully the quality of the stuff in this bundle will make up for the failings that we've had so far um, and see where we go so um, 30 kilos vintage branded denim jackets let's have a look Firstly, standard Levi's XL jacket. Good condition, to be fair. Um, I sell them for about 30 quid, so uh, not too bad a start there. Next one down. This is a gas jeans, never heard of those. They're probably an American make. I'll have to research that to make sure that they're... Um, if it's uh, any good but uh, I mean any denim jacket should be at least 20 pounds 15 to 20 for, for even a non-branded one I've got a corduroy and denim mix and this is replan it's, the back half is denim uh, is, is corduroy the front half denim that's uh, it's unusual that'll stand out Another Levi's, dark blue this time, nice jacket that, orange tag, again I say should we get 30 quid for them, I'll work out how much um, I'm going to get at the end of the video um, and see if it was worthwhile um, purchasing this bundle at the end of it, but uh, yeah. We're doing all right, I think. I mean, if, if this sort of calibre continues again, 
Levi's XL, good size. Obviously, from the previous one that I wanted, I wanted Sherpa jackets because they can fetch quite a bit more money. But um, we're doing all right so far. Levi's, that's the nice one, actually, with the, uh, with the V on the back there. I think that one might be a ladies. But obviously doesn't matter. Black that time. That's quite a nice jacket, actually. I like that. Bit concerned that the uh, label is off a pair of 501s 34 inch waist 36 inch length uh, but uh, the buttons and everything are all correct so I've got no reason to think it's not genuine Cordroy again Wrangler this time again really good brand size is that one it doesn't say so size 12. So ladies. Who's that? Lee? Beige? No, no, that has got a mark on. You can find this sometimes buying uh, bulk clothing that they can have marks, but it's only on the back. It's not particularly bad, so it uh, shouldn't affect the sale. Oh, here we go. Here's a Sherpa. Levi's, size 002, I don't know what that means, really nice, I love Sherpa jackets, I think they're awesome, but yeah, they sell for obviously, they do fetch a premium over your standard denim jacket, especially at this time of year, because they're a bit warm. Lee. Levi's again, this one's got this nice stud sort of design on it, on the front and the back, very nice. So you kind of know you're going to get decent stuff when you buy the branded ones, um, Lee jacket there. We've sold quite a few denim jackets in the past, I always look out for them, um, you know what you're getting as I said with Levi's and Lee, you know you're going to get sales, you know it's going to go. So you do have to spend a bit more than you would if you were getting a non-branded bundle, um, but uh, it's worth it, I think. Levi's again, medium. Nice to have a mix of, of sizes. That's a Levi's, but it's like a longer jacket, it's a ladies longer jacket. We got one of these before in a previous bundle that had patches on it, you know, from um, music bands, things like that. And believe it or not, we sold that one for £300. But that wasn't from this company, it was from a different company. But that's a ladies again, Levi's. But always look out for things like that because uh, they can fetch a, a really good money vintage. Um, Sorry, I had, had a tag of one of the sleeves stuck in there. For the Levi's. Oh, another Sherpa. Who have we got this time? Levi's again, that is seriously cool. That is awesome. That one's obviously going to be quite highly priced by myself because that's cool. So, so far, we, you know, we're doing okay. We've got, uh, as you'd expect, what you'd expect from a denim jacket bundle, really. Lee again. Sherpa again. Don't know what I mean by Sherpa. It's the, it's the lining. The lining is like a Sherpa lining. Um, we've got another one there, small. So the Levi's, the Levi's. So predominantly, the majority of, 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 of the stuff in the bundle does appear to be Levi's, which obviously is 
Oh, is it the number one brand in denim? Probably. It's a similar one to the other one, but it's a, like a grey corduroy, ladies, again. I've got to say, the condition of them overall is, is, is good. There's no particular, I mean, there was that mark on the one, but uh, not too bad at all, really. So I have bought bundles from companies in the past that they've been, well, quite shocking, really. But to be fair, quite pleased with this one so far. We've got another dark blue Levi's jacket, stone wash. Stuck on the button. My stone wash. Getting there now. Still quite a few to be fair. Levi's again, small. Levi's, that's a very big one. Now that is nice. Levi's again, but it's uh, Sherpa obviously. Uh, size small. Levi's, double X that one. Sometimes you can get waistcoats. I haven't had any waistcoats in this one. Levi's again, that's like an insulated. It's got a thicker quilting inside. It's got a leather collar. Nice jacket, like a proper cowboy. Another Levi double XL again. Oh, that's me lot. So there we go. That's a quick run through of what's in there. I'm now going to go off, do a bit of research on what we've got, see if it was actually worthwhile buying the bundle. But I've got to say, I'm pleased with what I've got in there so far. I'll be back in a second. Let's see if we made some money. Right, okay, so I've been through the jackets, um, checked them all on eBay completed listings, and from my previous selling of Levi's jackets, obviously I've got a rough idea of value, especially of the Levi's. Now, for my 30 kilos of um, denim, I got 34 jackets, um, so they're roughly a kilo each. So for postage, Hermes, easy job done. Um, yeah, and I'm reasonably pleased. Um, I said we did get off not very well with the delivery being the wrong place, the order that I wanted not being available, but I think we've done okay. Um, I've roughly worked out the jackets. A couple of them are actually pretty worth a, a bit of money. A couple of the Sherpas, the ladies ones, can sell for up to £50 each. So obviously that's a that's a bonus. The majority of the Levi's themselves sell between 25 to 30. I tend to price them at 29.99 and they and they fly out. Um, the Lees a um, little bit less around about 25 and I think there was a couple of other brands of gas and a replay that'd be about 15 to 20 each. So in total, um, if they all sell, I should be looking at somewhere in the region of 900 to a thousand pounds, believe it or not. Yeah, so not bad at all. Um, the bundle itself cost me 350, um, which obviously is a lot of money. You have to sometimes make big investments in, in, in reselling and this was one for us. Uh, so we paid 350 for it um re resale if we say the resale is in the middle of my estimates 950 ish um after fees 950 would be i don't know about, around about 800 ish um and then take postage off uh, around three to four pounds um per uh per listing so that's going to be somewhere between 100 120 pound mark maybe a little bit more so take off my 350 initial um, investment I should pretty much double my money after fees after postage I should stand to make between 300 and 375 ish pounds so you've got to be pleased with that I mean denim jackets they all as I said especially the branded stuff the Levi's 
it sells really, really well. I've bought a lot of them in the past and I've sold a lot of them in the past and I know that they'll go. So it's a pretty good bet for your money. Um, although to start with, the dispatch was very slow. Obviously they got the issue wrong with the order. They got the issue wrong with the address, but I have got them and I'm going to make some good money. So putting the problems that I had aside, Eve trying to sneak into the video there in the corner. Yes, yeah, caught you. Um, putting the problems that I had at the start, aside pretty good we're going to make some decent money i think um normally this bundle for 45 kilos is 550 pounds so that's obviously another 200 pound but you should get another 10 to 15 jackets at least in that so that's probably another three well if the average price is around 30 pound you do the math yourself it's it's worth buying at five uh, at 45 kilos you'd still make the equivalent percentage increase in profit so it's definitely a bundle that's worth buying definitely going to make some money on it um and yeah i'd recommend them um so we did get off on the wrong foot but we got there in the end and we're going to make some money so there you go good place to invest your money although for me think i'd stick with vault vintage the bit i've used them you know the the two unboxings that i've done recently the quality of the items is really 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 good um so yeah there we go oh that's of use for people it's a good way of making some money when there's no car boots and if you can't get out and about um it does as i say it did take three nearly four weeks for it to arrive um so if you're planning on doing it now you're going to struggle to get it a lot before uh, a couple of weeks before Crimba. But anyway, I'm going to get listing now, get these, um, get these uh, photoed, cleaned, ironed where needs be, get them on eBay and make some money. Thanks for watching, guys. See you again soon. Bye bye.